Hello and welcome to episode 32 of Local Motions, featuring the City Council meeting of May 4th, 2015. The Council had a study session before the regular meeting and it focused on the goals and objectives for fiscal year 2015-16. Some of you may remember when City Manager Nancy Mackle and I went around to all the different departments and reviewed the goals for 2014-15. So this is the new set, it's in largely the same format. Once the City Council approves a final version, we'll make sure that it's available for City staff. Remodeling and adding a second story to the Mark Day School in Terra Linda was the main public hearing. The City Council took about an hour of public comment, both for and against the project, and the Council voted to approve the project with a few conditions, including attempts to reduce car trips and also to improve pedestrian safety. In another item, Councilmember Kate Collin has been working with mayors and council members from throughout Marin in an effort to create a countywide homelessness fund. Since homelessness is a countywide and not just a San Rafael issue, the fund recognizes that all jurisdictions need to join together. The City Council will approve the plan, which allows it to work with all of our neighbors on this complex issue. The City Council also passed a resolution of appreciation focused on National Police Week Police Chief Diana Bishop and several officers were on hand to receive the recognition. I did. But congratulations to you and the entire department. Hello everyone, this is Jinder, uh, the 2014 First Quarter Employee of the Quarter winner. Uh, this year is our 25th Annual Employee Recognition Luncheon, which will be held at the uh, Community Center on B Street on May 20th at 1130. Uh, so stop by and see who will follow in my footsteps. Mr. DeMille. My name is Corey Bidoff and I live in the Canal neighborhood of San Rafael and I am biking to work on Bike to Work Day, May 14th. Donut. Thank you.